Hello everybody, today you will make homemade gnocchi and homemade pesto. This is a request that a lot of people he ask me for this. Now, I already, uh, this is the potato I use. And I was boil the potato. After boil, I was squeeze this, you make like a puree, the potato. Now for the gnocchi, I got three pound the potato. You need one egg, I got two cups of flour, and you need salt. Okay, for the pesto, I got fresh basil over here, and I got like two cups of basil. But you gotta use only the leaves. Make sure to wash good the basil, and dry. You gotta be dry, no put the water, it's no good for the basil. I got five gl uh, gloves garlic, I got over here, I got a pignoli, I got hot pepper, flake pepper, oil, and I got a pecorino cheese, and it salt. Okay, we start with the gnocchi first. Now, first thing, I, I need one egg. I need a little salt like a half teaspoon of salt, a couple of spoon oil. Now I start to mix this first before I put the flour. Okay. Okay, now this is two cups flour, but let's start do like this. Okay, what happens is you use too much flour. I don't want to have to taste the gnocchi, taste the flour. And I put now this right over here. I gotta mix good this, like when you make the pasta like fettuccine, everything, all the flour you gotta be incorporated. It's an English incorporator? You say, oh, yeah. oh, I speak English. Okay. Okay, now we gotta start to do the gnocchi. Now, to do the gnocchi, first thing, you gotta put a little spread of flour, a little bit over here. And I cut one piece. Like that, and you start the roll. Okay. After you roll like this, you start the corner, the what the shape of how big you want the gnocchi. Okay, now the gnocchi, when I roll this, I do the gnocchi, I gotta put on this part. I use a little corn flour, and you got a corn flour, it's okay, so you got a semolina, it's good to tell. Everything is good. And you start to do like this. And now, you see what I do, and I gotta do the rest all the same way I do this one. Okay, now the gnocchi is already done. Now we gotta start with the pesto. And the pesto, we start over here with this machine over here. Oh, and we start to do really good. And I wanna put a little oil on the bottle. I put garlic, I got a crushed pepper, I put the little pecorino cheese, a little bit more, and we put right inside over here too. The base looks like a two cup basil.
All right. We put a little more oil on the top. Now, so you don't got no machine, it's okay. You can, you can use the knife and you chop it with a knife. It's all right. Let's start. Okay, now the pest is ready. Look a beautiful color it got, a nice green, really nice. Okay, now you need more oil and what you do, you wash this with the oil. Okay. Okay, we put a little pinoli inside. That's enough. Give a nice turn. And the pest is ready. Now, so you got too much pest, okay? You want to keep. It's okay. You put in a glass jar. Make sure it's covered with oil. And you can keep the pesto three, four, five years. It never go bad. Okay. Ready to cook the gnocchi. Now make sure to pick up like this. And I put a little oil inside like this. The gnocchi no stick. Okay, the gnocchi is all up. And let's... Start. I want to taste this gnocchi. Let's taste this gnocchi. Hey, look, it's so beautiful. A little pecorino, extra cheese, it's really good. All right, nice spice too, good. Mmm. Really good test. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. It tastes really good. I hope everybody make this. It's a really good dish. Fresh, uh, the gnocchi and the, uh, the pesto fresh. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope everybody like. Thumbs up, everybody. Thank you very much, the look. Thank you.